This time, like, and in this video, we are looking at the component of a vector. So vectors i and j are unit vectors in the x and y directions. And it's important that we get used to this uh, notation of using i and j. So for example, if we have here 4i plus 7j, that's basically equal to 4 across and then 7 up. Now, if you know what r and theta are, and theta is normally the angle, and then r is this one here, for example there, you can resolve the vectors into components. And this means that x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sine theta, and if you don't have what r is, you could do that by the root of x squared plus y squared, and this is essentially using Pythagoras. So here we have a question, and this is write this vector in the form xi plus yj. So what we're going to start by doing is working out what x is and working out what y is. If we're going to try and find, work out x, we'll say x is equal to r cos theta. And we know that it's going to be uh, cos because it's um, adjacent over hypotenuse there. So adjacent is obviously the thing we're trying to, to find out here. And that's gonna be 9.6 because that's what R is. And then cos, and then we know that theta is equal to 78 degrees. So 9.6 cos 78. Type that into your calculators and you'll get about 1.99, which is basically two. Now, if we're trying to work out what y is, then we're gonna be using our sine theta. So this time, again, r is going to be 9.6, but instead of cos, it's gonna be sine 78. And then this, is going to be equal to 9.39. Now we still haven't finished as we have to write this vector in the form xi plus yj and this is what we are looking at here and that would be 2i as x is uh, 2 plus 9.39j. If we are wanting to write it in another form, we could have it like two here and then 9.39. But the question does specifically ask for it in the form xi plus yj. And we found out what x is and we found out what y is. So for the next question, we have to have a slight idea of what a position vector is. And to describe a vector in relation to the origin, which is at zero, zero, you call it a position vector. Now the question here is asking that particles A and B have position vectors, which is from the origin, A is equal to 2i plus 5j meters, and B is equal to 6i plus 3j meters. Now particle A then undergoes a displacement of 2i minus 3j meters, and particle B moves in the opposite direction and three times as far. And we have to calculate the distance between the particles after their displacements. So in order to do this, we got to first work out what the position of the vectors is after their displacements. So A is normally equal to 2i plus 5j. Now, as this goes to a displacement of 2i minus 3j, we're simply going to add them together, and that will give us 4i plus 2j. Now B starts at 6i plus 3j. And then now we have to look at, it says in the opposite direction and three times as far. So if it's in the opposite direction, then we can assume that the 2i will turn to a negative, so it'll be negative in the x direction, and then positive in the y direction. And then if we also times this by 3, so we have 6i, so then we'll have minus 6i, because it's opposite direction and 3 times as far, to make that not 
i. So that would essentially just be at the origin. And then we'll make this 9j because it's three times as far and in the opposite direction. So 9 plus 3 is equal to 12. So plus 12j. And once you get to this point, it's sometimes useful just to draw a very quick sketch just to see what's going on. And this is the ori origin here. And we know that a is going to be 4i plus 2j. So 4, let's say, is here. And then 2 is around here. And then the other one is 0i plus 12j. So it's going to be at the origin and then plus up 12. So that will maybe be around here here right at the top and this is the distance that we're trying to find between them and in order to do this we're going to have to use a bit of Pythagoras' theorem by working out what that is there what the x and then the y there in order to do this to get the x value there we're going to do the 4 minus 0 that's equal to 4 And then y is going to be 12 minus 2. And that's because that's 12 there, and that's 2 there. And that's going to be equal to 10. And then by using Pythagoras' theorem, we're going to substitute that in. So this will go to 4 squared plus 10 squared which is equal to 10.8 meters. And that is our final answer of working out the distance between the particles after their displacements. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.